when, when we talk about uh, what's it called now, the humility of that leader, yeah. whether it's the the third year senior or second year senior in that team, um, I, I feel like one of the most important things in any team is the ability to create an environment where everybody feels heard, mm-hmm. right? Everybody mm-hmm. feels like they can say what they want to say, mm-hmm. but also creating creating that environment most importantly where it doesn't have to come like a you know, like an attack. Yeah. So, for example, exactly. I should be able to have interns because you, you're saying it now from perspective of a, of an intern. I'm saying it from perspective of, for example, a second year senior, yeah. m- most of the flaws, yeah. right? Where I'm creating an environment where my intern can tell me what they feel, and it's going to be like you a, suck. <laughs> well, I'll address that in other ways. I'll address that in other ways, you know. But anyways, you know, creating an environment where people can can tell you what they feel and it's not not an attack in a way it's like i can say what i feel it's people are free to it takes a lot of humility first of all and it takes a lot of self confidence too yeah. because yeah. i i know that when i when i make a mistake i was going to touch on that right that. It's very, very important what he said about self-confidence. Right. When I know that when I make a mistake, it's not a dent on my entire, you know, being. It's yeah. just one thing. I know what I am. I know my limitations. I know things that I'm good yeah. at. Yeah. But every every statement towards me shouldn't be, you know, an attack on my, on everything that yeah. I'm about as yeah. a physician. So I think it takes a lot of that and creating that kind of environment where people, I, I think that applies to any, whether it's a residency program at large mm-hmm. or a small team made up of one senior or two intern yeah. but you had a lot of yeah. stuff to talk about that yeah no, i was just gonna like say pretty much the same thing what you said yeah. about uh, a lot of the conflicts like from what i've noticed in the last six months over here a lot of it doesn't arise because people are shitty in general a lot of yeah. it arises from insecurity that's true yeah. so as a senior there will be times every day when you you don't know what the yeah. best thing is you yeah. find yourself oh, lacking oh, oh, tell me about <laughs> there, there you go <laughs> But you have to keep this straight face. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. You'll, you'll be finding yourself lacking in more ways than one. You're like, oh, I'm in third year now. I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do this. And oftentimes, it's, it's more of a defense mechanism yeah. than a personality flaw, I feel. Yeah. You kind of hide that insecurity by being an asshole, yeah. pretty much. Yeah. So, again... You, you want know, to create this environment where people are not able to come and tell yeah. you that you are wrong. Yeah, it because should be. you you fear that moment. Yeah, you have to be like, no, 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 no. What I'm saying is right, and on the side, up to date. Pick this <laughs> <laughs> always, always, right? and that's why I like I feel bad for right now the seniors because they they feel like all those uh, little uh, birdlings they have it were all around him are flying away and they're going yeah. in all these crazy Wait, directions. Are you uh, no, we have. <laughs> But that also speaks to leadership in a way because I feel like there is, there's, uh, like I said, I, I have spectrums for everything. Uh-huh. I, I, I don't think anything is, you know, black and white. Uh-huh. Um, my spectrum for leadership goes, um, there are, it's a spectrum between leaders, real leaders uh-huh. and noisemakers. Uh-huh. I'm not yeah. saying somebody will be entirely a noisemaker or somebody will be entirely you know, a noble leader. Uh-huh. You fall somewhere in between, in between right? Yeah. You're more of a noisemaker than a leader, for true example. Leader, yeah. You're more of a true leader. But again, leadership is about yeah. you know, making a little bit of noise, right? It's, so, it's, it's so finding that, that balance. versus submarines. That's what well, I'm well, well. So I, I think because of that, you have to be able to evaluate, again, Physicians find themselves in leadership, leadership positions every time, yeah. Yeah. right? Oh, is. is it about getting things done or about showing you're in charge? Yeah. That's another thing. And again, go, going back to what you said, a lot of, a lot of the, the noise comes from insecurity. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it takes... You, you know, sort of drown everything out. Right. You, so, yeah. you know, everybody doesn't see those... You know, shortcomings yeah. and stuff. The, the <laughs> right, the right. So it, it, it's 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 a lot of you know self reflection, mm-hmm. saying you know this is what I am. Mm-hmm. It's not going to change in a day. Mm-hmm. Yes. The people that respect you respect you for some things you don't even know that you have. Yeah. The people that don't, yeah, maybe it's because those some yeah. shortcomings. You're not going to be able to change that perception. It's yeah. about taking ownership of that and figuring out how I can get better. You know how I can you know 
those few things that I have that is going good for me, mm -hmm. how I can amplify it, and those things that are not going as good, uh -huh. how I can do better. Is that, well, that's that's always been most of what we talked about. These talks that we're having is a mixture of, you know, personalities yeah. and how it, it 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 impacts how we take care of patients, how it also reflects us as leaders. In, yeah. You know, no matter how small the unit, the intern is the leader of the students. For example, mm -hmm. the medical students are under them. Yeah. The senior resident is there. Exactly. Right. So you find yourself, you find yourself in in those positions a lot of times, and you're just trying to navigate that. Because uh, uh, we have to be honest. One of the reasons why this discussion that we're having most likely will go on forever. Forever is because yeah. this is what we do every day. Yeah. Everybody comes to work as a physician, looking for self validation. Oh yeah. And that's that's. That's a human, a normal human. Yeah. You know, you can't escape that. You, you want to find your work for feeling exactly. Any exactly. You want to feel like what you're doing is important. You're doing the right thing. You're getting better. But at the same time, yeah. you're you're navigating between self validation, which takes a lot of sometimes noise making, right? Sometimes yeah. confidence, your ego comes into play. Yeah. But at the same time, also having enough humility to be able to recognize. Exactly. You know where you may not be doing as well and trying to fix it. Oh, that's the that's the big thing. Self awareness. Oh my God. When we one more thing I wanted to touch upon, like we've talked about the whole self awareness and personality. Not to Lakshmi. Hindu Lakshmi. No. Obviously, the horror. You people dislike you. Oh my God. I don't know, guys. Keep keep going. So, like, we talked a lot about being good leaders, but yeah. what's equally important, and I think it's more relevant for us right now as interns, is how to be a good follower, how to take yeah. good leadership as well. Okay. So, uh, again, when you come across, say, a strong leadership figure, yeah. it's much easier to fall in line and yeah. kind of go with them, but yeah. when that happens, it's also kind of restrictive on your personal growth. When you have someone giving you orders and you know they're right, you tend to blindly follow them. Yeah, it's easier. So it's, it's important it's to keep so questioning. It's so much easier. It. That's why even if you have a great leader, just yeah. keep questioning them. Yeah. Even if it's in your head, even if it's to them, you have to keep questioning it to allow your own growth. That yeah, way. And I feel like the leader should also create an environment where your questions are taken as you know positive things. Yeah. Rather than you know attacks on their, yeah, on exactly. their personality or their or the integrity, or whatever the case may be, however people interpret things, where, you know, people should feel free to, I think that, that's what create, creates healthy, healthy, you know, It has to be a two-way communication right. either way. It can't right. just be a one-way leadership thing. That's the most important thing about leadership it isn't leadership, it's communication. It is communication. It's communication. Yeah. And, uh, but it, it just reminds me that sometimes when we get used to, some of our seniors are so good that we set a standard. That's that true. when we go to our next team or our next rotation and we don't have do that, that, we were like, we struggle. Mm -hmm. We struggle yeah. like, why is this person is not the way the other person yeah. was? Yeah. And this is why where Why isn't I, everyone like Lakshmi? Yes! Why is it, why is it everyone like Lakshmi? Why is it everyone like Lakshmi? Why is it everyone like I know he's missing it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, keep going here. So, like, I feel like we physicians and any staff has to be dynamic in our yeah. personality, be adaptable, yeah. be like, no, you know, because it's not going to be the same. You're not going to, we, well, I remember once one of our dean at school, is just like, you know, you are in a complaining business. Yeah. Everybody will come and complain to you, any kind of complaint, can come. Yeah. but it's our job to make sure that we hear them mm -hmm. and do our job accordingly. Right. So yes, so sometimes don't, don't I mean, be a brick, like be a yeah, sponge. Don't be a sponge. Be adaptable. Be like okay, you know. But uh, yes, yeah, sometimes we enjoy working with certain people more. I, yeah. I'm not gonna deny yeah. that certain people no, we no. like we can't wait the time to be over. Oh, yeah. Yes, but uh, I feel like again, like I wanna be comfortable with both situations. Yeah. Both, uh, both scenarios, both teamwork, because in one place, yes, you know, you may go to an amazing residency program where yeah, everybody's yeah. nice, but you may go to another place where everybody's not. Yeah. So, but then you're going to have to learn to be either yeah, and nasty and like asshole or kind, <laughs> but bring that all together. Right, and, and again, just to, just to kind of touch upon the things well, we started with, well, everybody's different. Everybody's yeah. different. No doubt. And that's beautiful, yeah. man. That's At, how it should be. Yeah, yeah. attendants are different, you know. Fellow residents are different. Yeah. 
It's about keeping the goal inside. Meaning, yeah. what do? How can I be best to this particular patient that I have yeah. responsibility for? Whether I'm working with this attendant today or whether I'm working with another attendant yeah. to, tomorrow, how can I be of use to? Patient care is king. King, no doubt. Be humble. Be receptive. Sweet. sweet. But also be assertive. No doubt. Both. And right. that's the thing, it's not going to be one fixed personality for you. Yeah. You have to be fluid with your personality. Yeah. You have to assume different roles every day. And that flexibility is something which I need to incorporate in my life now. Oh. It's a lot easier yeah. to just be one type of guy. Always be like happy go lucky, yeah. always be down and depressed. Yes. But it's about, you know, no, shape shifting and, to some and, extent. And knowing yes. the right times to, you know, to, mm -hmm. to make those changes. Yeah. Especially when you have the goal inside. Yeah. Sometimes you won't be the nice guy. Yeah. A lot yeah. of times you won't be the nice guy because yeah. you want things done. Yeah. But a lot of times you might have to be the nice guy even though you're not the nice guy. That's why the a sociopath done. would thrive in this environment. Oh. I feel. I just <laughs> assume personalities <laughs> like that. Let's stop pushing it out. <laughs> But anyways, I, I think we'll, we'll, we'll continue more on this on this topic uh, uh, on the next episode. There's so much more. So Again, so I, get, I feel like so this is things. this is really what we do every day. Yeah. Trying to be the best versions of physicians we, yeah. we can be. And yourself. We, yeah, exactly. Regardless of our personalities, our backgrounds, you know, level of knowledge or whatever yeah. the case may be. At the end yeah. of the day, it's about the patients. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. See you. All right. Bye. Say bye. Bye guys. Welcome ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. It's the Residence Cove episode five now, I think. Five? Yeah. All right. Five. Yeah. When, when Fatai told us what we were going to be talking about, yeah. both Hina and I were like, uh. <laughs> <laughs>